Well, my history with uh, FCDC goes back uh, further than any active uh, board member. Been with the organization about two decades. Uh, started shortly after the founding of FCEDC in uh, uh, late 1990 and 91. And of course, the, the circumstances then were uh, there was high unemployment in uh, Fond du Lac and Fond du Lac County at that time. What was that number? Probably five plus percent. And they thought that that was severe enough that uh, some action was needed. And so they created the Fond du Lac County Economic Development Corporation. My role with FCEDC started uh, back in the late 1990s. I, uh, my employer at the time was a member of the uh, investor group and a contributor, a strong supporter. Uh, I felt, felt like I learned a lot from my service and hopefully I provided some benefit to the uh, Economic Development Corporation. Well, the roles that I've played uh, over the years have been everything from just being a board member to being probably the, the committee I've served on the longest is the Investor Relations Committee. And uh, I've also dealt with a lot of new companies that are coming to town or looking to come into town. So because of my uh, past involvement with Mercury Marine, they wanted to you know talk to one of the uh, current employers. So I did that. Uh, spent time with the personnel uh, and human resources group, helping establish policies and procedures for the organization. My roles with the uh, corporation included uh, serving as chair, and I actually served uh, one and a half terms because my predecessor left for a different job opportunity. So I got the unique opportunity to serve longer than a year. Also served on the executive committee, uh, the investor committee, and one special committee that we had at one time was to look for alternate sources of funding to provide the uh, financing for the services that we provided. And that was kind of a special project committee. Well, I think the reason I would give for someone to consider being, uh, becoming a board member, I would characterize it as the classic win-win situation. I think from the standpoint of having an input into what happens in your community, I think serving on the board is a wonderful way to do that. It, uh, it's a reasonable uh, amount of your time to give if you're very busy in your own business, yet at the same time you're able to contribute your viewpoints, your experiences, and your talents into what kind of economic path should this particular community be taking. So, and I think another thing I would point to is opportunities to network to be exposed to uh, very capable people, both on staff, fellow board people, and other people in the community who can help you grow an awful lot in your abilities. And of course, we all know what role networking places in providing opportunities, perhaps for you, for you personally or for your business opportunities. Well, if somebody ever asked me, why would, I, why would I want to be, why should they be a member of the uh, uh, board of directors? I guess I would ask them to say, if they're committed to this county and, and to living in this region, if they'd like to see the business environment, the economic environment be a positive one, there's no better place to be a part of, no better organization to be a part of, actually impact that and influence it. So if they want to do that, they should become a member and they can really get some personal satisfaction out of uh, assisting uh, this organization and businesses in this county to improve and do better and exist and hang in there, whatever, whatever the circumstances are. As I say, this is a pretty adaptable organization. So we're going to do what's needed at a given point in time. This is a, an organization that actually gets stuff done. We actually have made very, very positive impact uh, on the, the county, on the economic development across this whole region, if you, want to, if you want to go that far. Answer that I would give as to how do you be an effective board member would be to do your homework. Uh, there are no easy answers to being able to participate and contribute to meetings other than you need to read, you need, and by reading I mean, you know, the daily community papers, uh, the business publications, perhaps some national newspapers to kind of have a feel for what's happening. You need to talk to people, and I think once it becomes apparent that you're a board member, people will talk to you. I think serving on the investors committee is, is another way that 
really gives you an opportunity to get the pulse of what are the people who receive the services thinking. And then finally, I think being exposed to like leadership Fond du Lac, for example, I've had the opportunity to participate in the Fond du Lac County Devel Economic Development Corporation presentations when leadership Fond du Lac group came. And I really welcome those opportunities, but because you get exposed to some of the, the younger people with newer and fresher ideas, and I think there's a mutual stimulation in doing that. So to become active, you, you have to do your homework, because if you speak without knowing what you're talking about, uh, obviously you don't earn the respect of the group. On the contrary, if it's apparent you've done your homework, I think your opinion is highly valued. 